Lesson three. We're still going through uh, the text of chapter one of Genesis. Veruach, veruach, and here we have the um, Iraqi pronunciation, veruach, veruach. So Spanish and Portuguese, veruach, same as modern Hebrew. It's one syllable. And spirit of. Veruach. So there are three consonants here. V, R, and H. And we have the vowel U in the middle. A long vowel. U. Short E. Short A. Veruach. The conjunction V is written with the schwa. And this sound here, with the dot inside the middle, is oo. And note that the ah here has to be pronounced before the h sound. So it's ruach, not rucha. Ruach. And we treat it as though it's one syllable. Um, because these here are short vowels. Veruach. Mirra hefet. Mirra hefet. Three syllables. Mirra hefet. And the accent is here. Mirra hefet. It's brooding or hovering in some translations. So we have some sounds here. F with no dot inside it, P with a dot inside it. In Spanish and Portuguese, these two are both the same, B and B. But these two are differentiated, P and F. Mira is an open syllable, Mira ending in the vowel A. He is open, ending in the vowel E, he, short e sound, and fit is closed, ending in t. Fit. M at the beginning shows that the the form is a participle. Um, it, a word like going, walking, singing. So it's a participle, and the t on the end here shows us that it is feminine. Um, Merahefet, Merahefet, Ham Mayim, Ham Mayim, three syllables, Ham Mayim, the waters. So, M without the dot, M with the dot is M. So, it indicates a doubling of the letter when it's here. Um, after a consonant and um, preceded by a full vowel. So, hum, ma, yim. So, the first syllable, hum, is closed. The next is ma, open, and then yim, closed again. Ye here comes before the e, yim, and so begins the syllable and is sounded as in ye, as in ye. Because this is the end of a syllable here. Ma yim. The article, the, is ha. Ha, with the patach, this vowel here, a, under it. And after the article, then you have the doubled consonant after it. For um, most of the consonants double. Some don't double if they are gutturals or this letter r which is hard to double. So, hash sha mayim, hash sha mayim. And here we have ham mayim. Um, in modern Hebrew, this doubling is not generally observed. Um, people are a bit sloppy with their pronunciation, um, but it should be done. Ham mayim, hash sha mayim. This little accent here indicates the end of the verse. 
and after this we always end up with these two lozenges um, which indicate the end of a verse in a printed text. Vai yo mer. Notice the dot inside the yud telling us it's doubled. Vai yo mer. Three syllables. And he said, Vai yo mer. Vai yo mer. And the accent is, you can see from this little sign here, on this part of the word, Vai yo mer. The root of this form is amar, amar, he said. And then we put the yud in front to indicate the future. Yo mer, yo mer, he will say, yo mer. And the conjunction va here, the joining word va, connects this sentence with the one before. But it has another effect. It makes it future. He will say. So it makes the future, sorry, he will say, turn into the past tense. And he said. This is called the Vav conversive. And it flips the tense around. Um, and it's not an anomaly. It's because... In Hebrew, sometimes it, that we have this. We have two tense structures in Hebrew: one from Hebrew itself, and one from Aramaic. And these two things exist side by side. So it's not an anomaly, and it will be explained in more detail later. At this point, all you need to know is that Amar means he said. Amar. Yomer means he will say. Yomer and Vay Yomer means and he said vai yomer and he said yehi yehi shall be or let be so the first ye here indicates a future as in yomer this is only a half vowel yehi and so the word is a one-syllable word. Yehi. The root of this form, the base, um, Hebrew has got roots which are composed usually of three letters which carry the base meaning um, of the word. And here the, the root is haya. he was. Haya. And before we've seen haita, haita, she was. Hayeta. Also from the same root. Haya. So, Yehi shall be or let be. Or. Or. Meaning light. So, Yehi or. Let there be light. In the word or, Aleph has got no sound. And so in the translation, here we put transliteration using this sign for it here. The Vav, with the point over it, um, acts as a vowel and unites with the point. Just as we saw before in Tahom, Tahom, so it's the O sound. Va, Yehi, Va, Yehi, and there was, and it was, va yehi. So the conjunction here is functioning the same way as in va yomer. So it doesn't merely connect; it's not only and. It also converts the future into a past. Was, and so we have. Va yehi, and there was, not and there will be. The conjunction in va yomer was va. Va. 
via Yomer. And here it is Va as well. The difference being this dot here, the Dagesh Forte, which you can see here in the Yud, Vai Yomer, in Va Yehi, the Dagesh is not present. So that's the only difference in the pronunciation here. Vai Yomer, Va Yehi. Slight difference in pronunciation. And this sign here with the Patach, which we can see here, indicates a secondary accent. Vayehi, so it's da da da, vayehi. Even though it's really only two syllables, um, vayehi, so it's da da da. There's this second that is very small and it's one counts as one syllable, da da. So vayehi. Here are the words we've had so far in the lessons. If you can't translate any of these words, you should go back and look at their meaning uh, until you can. So we have Mayim, Mayim, Elohim, Elohim, Bohu, Bohu, Tahom, Tahom, Vayihi, Vayihi. Hayata, Hayata, Hamamayim, Hamamayim, Hashamayim, Hashamayim, Ruach, Ruach, Or, Or, Bara, Bara, Yomer, Yomer, Merahifit. Merahifit Pene Pene Tohu Tohu Nal Nal Vai Yomer Vai Yomer Bere Sheet Bere Sheet Verha Ares Verha Ares Choshech, Choshech, Eit, Eit, Yehi, Yehi. Observations. The sign of the feminine gender at the end of the word is the letter T. T. This is pronounced P. Without the dot, it's F. If you think about this as a plug in a kitchen sink, when the plug's there, the water can't flow through, and so it's p if the water is air. Here the air can flow through, and so it's f, f p, p for plugged, f for flow. In Spanish and Portuguese, these are both pronounced b and b. In modern Hebrew, they are b and v. A syllable closing with Dagesh Forte is called a sharpened syllable. All sharpened syllables are, of course, closed syllables because they end in a consonant. The prefix Yod marks the future tense in the third person masculine singular v connects but va a stronger form connects and converts the tense hebrew roots generally not always but a general rule have got three letters so amar amar he said, Bara, Bara, he created. And all the other letters around the root 
are going to be prefixes in front or suffixes at the end. The gutturals, which are pronounced in the throat, so or further back, r, r, h, h, and the aleph, which is the glottal stop, causing many irregularities in the forms of words, um, deserve our special attention. And we will be paying close attention to these letters and the effect they have on the vowels that are around them. Dagesh forte, which is the dot in the middle of the letter, is in every case immediately preceded by a vowel. Um, and this, of course, it's at the beginning of a word. The vowel of open syllables is long. Of closed syllables, short. However, if a syllable is accented, the vowel may be either long or short. The letter of the article, that is the word the in English, is this letter here, he, and its vowel is regularly a. Um, and it usually, but not always, usually, has a daggish forte. That's the daggish that causes the letter to be doubled in pronunciation. In the first letter of the word to which it is prefixed, in other words, the following letter is doubled. But note, ha in ha ares, and no doubling here because this is a guttural. And the... Um, Instead of having a heavy syllable by including this consonant, the syllable is made heavy by lengthening the vowel. Ha ares, ha ares. Vocabulary. Or, or meaning light. Or, ish meaning man. Ish, ish, mayim, mayim, waters, mayim, which we tend to just translate in English as water, mayim, vay yomer, vay yomer, and he said, vay yomer, vay yehi, and was and there was vai yehi yehi let be you know, let there be yehi merahefet merahefet brooding hovering merahefet hanging around merahefet ra a ra a he saw ra a Ruach, spirit or breath, or even wind. Ruach, Ruach. These pronunciation guides here are not for the Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation of Hebrew, and we will ignore them. Some other notes. Or, in the sentences we've seen so far, means light or light of or ish means man or man of ish ruach means spirit or spirit of ruach the word for waters is mayim mayim but at the end of a verse where the voice rests on the word, it is written mayim, mayim, and notice the vowel is lengthened, mayim. So normally mayim at the end of a verse, 
Mayim.